Okay, so I just posted a video of my first pyramid defense. I just got this pyramid yesterday and I was all pleased with myself for having it. And, you know, saw a guy uh, in another video I posted on here. I, I saw a guy get 40% that would have normally 100%ed me. And I was all happy with myself. Well, the very second attack that somebody did on me pretty much did a 100 on me. It looks like based on my walls, um, what I can show here is uh, I've got this level 14 wall pretty much all the way around my town. And I just kind of leveled here a little bit. I'm up to level 18 on the walls, but they're really expensive. So it takes time to get them all the way around your town. My lowest level wall is level 13. Um, I'd say maybe there's more 13 than 14 in my wall, or maybe it's about half and half. I don't know. Um, but what I did in preparation for this pyramid was I, um, I made sure I would have four levels of walls where I've got 14, 14, all the way across, all the way up here to the pyramid. And I did the same thing for going to the castle where there's a double wall here. So that if people cut, tried to come in and just win by killing your castle, they'd, they'd have to go through a lot of wall there. Um, but if you really look at it, there's a lot of wall here too. There's four walls basically in every direction you go. Uh, the, the difference is these, it's 14 here and around this death tower, you know, it's 14 and a little bit of 15 on the end, but it's 13. A lot of it's 13. So somebody came through here, they could potentially reach the pyramid a little bit easier. So this is going to be the primary point of attack for people until I reinforce this and they have to try and think of something else. And who knows, maybe that would be this way. I think people pick this path because there's an ice tower here and it would just really cause them problems unless they have spells that they could take that stuff out and come in from this side. But uh, as this stuff solidifies, it should take care of itself. So anyway, what this person did is they came in from over here and they, you know, they also did a, an attack on this side. So they kind of divided attention so that the pyramid would target one area versus another. And when they came, they barely made it to the pyramid, um, but they also had a lot of extra armies. So they weren't limited to really the 300 population count. Let's take a look at it. So it's this one. And you can see we've got six Ents, six of these guys, I forget their name, 10 mages, two of these wolf-like things, four elephants, 12 of these dwarf cannoneers, or whatever they're called, uh, 45 of these that target your towers, fair amount of spells, fiery meteor and the lightning, and then a couple of heroes. And you can see he did get the 4.7 million off of me and 1.7 million bread. So it was a total defeat, level 84 against my level 80. Let's take a, and let's take a look at it. So just like the first attacker, looking to soften up this left side, because I've got you know, strong ice towers over here. So it's really looking like people just wanna try and come in and soften this side up and make that their entryway. So what he did that was really good here is that, you know, the pyramid might be attacking, might do, be doing some damage, but he didn't really get a direct hit there, you know, partial. So you really have to get a direct hit here. And, and you know, when you have walls that are solider, then these guys are going to get stuck at that wall for a longer period of time and have a better chance of making sure that pyramid connects. Because when it does connect directly, as you can see, uh, they really went down considerably. The bad thing is, it's taking so many attempts to try and get these ants over here that the ants and those other ogre-like things over here, oh, predators, um, they're wreaking havoc over here and doing whatever they want. But now that it's weakened this pocket up over here, we've got that. And look, you can see he had some mages and whatnot. They were able to take out the pyramid. And now that he's got the pyramid out, you know, he's just unloading all the, uh, the rest of his army in there. 
you still got 45 of these things. And uh, I believe you, yeah, here they come. You know, so pretty much it's an easy win for him at this point once that pyramid is down and everything has been softened up a lot. But uh, I purposely allowed myself to have a little bit more. And I, I think I have something like 20 million gold there and I, I didn't spend it. I purposely tried to use it as bait and lure somebody to come in with a powerful attack so I could test the pyramid out, see how people are coming in to attack and you know, basically learn what it is I need to do to uh, stop them in their tracks. And I can build walls up to level 18. It just takes uh, some time, but you know, when I have to just concentrate on a small area like this, um, you know, getting up to level 15 to 18 level walls, it's not really a huge undertaking if I just need to do it in that one area. And that is it, my second attack, 100%. I'm gonna try and make that happen less. Thanks.